James, give me a specific example of when you didn't think that you was going to overcome something in business. A specific example of when I didn't think I was going to overcome something. I guess when I first joined the business, I first of all struggled with my age. So I moved out to Abu Dhabi when I was 22 or 23 years old, something like that. And I really, really struggled with my age. Um, it took me a good six months to realize that actually I, I was old enough. Um, I always believed I was good enough, but I didn't believe I was old enough at first. So that was probably the first challenge. Um, and my manager, Graham, was a fantastic manager, really, really awesome. Kept pumping into me every day. You're good enough, mate. If you're good enough, you're old enough. I promise you, you're good enough, mate. There's no doubt about it. You've got your exams. You know what you're talking about. You're good enough. It wasn't that I didn't believe him. Well, maybe I didn't believe him. Maybe I didn't believe him. Uh, maybe I didn't believe him totally. Maybe I didn't trust that advice. I certainly didn't feel like I was old enough. And it was going in to see one, one client and she made a comment about my age, first of all. It really put me on the back foot. I've told the story before. She was a super lady, New Zealand lady, and she went, oh God, I just want to look at my pension. And they sent a bloody 16 year old. And of course, when you walk into him, I wasn't 16, I was 22 or 23, but that, that knocked me a little bit. Um, that one meeting where I convinced her, I showed her that I was good enough and she took my advice, she became a client of mine and her uh, investments did very, very well. That for me was a turning point. I knew that if I could show that lady I was good enough when she was critical of my age, then I knew that I'd, I'd be all right. So I think that was the first, the first thing I had to overcome. All the way through my career, I've been Nigel's son. So that's always been a constant, a constant challenge where at first, People think you're in whatever role you're in because you're Nigel's son. So it's constantly proving to them, proving to myself, of course, as, as well, that no, 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 I'm in this role because I'm good enough. I'm in this role because I work my absolute socks off. There's always been that. I'm sure that that will never go away. Um, so that's always something that I've, I've had to, to work at as well, yeah, without a doubt.